Another day, another million. Guys, if I'm being completely transparent, it's Friday and I feel tired, like I'm exhausted. Um, it's those days when it's like, you really don't want to do anything. Like I could literally lay down in my bed right now, but you just continue, you have to push through. You got to keep going no matter what it is. This is where discipline comes in. And even though you don't want to do the things, you still do them. So, you know, I think people think that when they see you post on social media that like you're always motivated or just in general, they may think they see these higher level like individuals, not saying I am, cause I am constantly learning and stuff. But like when we see bigger people like Grant Cardone or these big investors and stuff, we think that they're always motivated, which no, it's not the case. They just rely so much on discipline. And yeah, that's just a sign to continue to keep on going, keep on pushing, even if you don't feel like it. So today I'm currently at the office. I actually have to scan um, some insurance documents for this four unit we're closing on next week. So I actually just scanned it. We don't have a printer in the office, so I'm gonna give you guys a little gem. Um, if you have an iPhone, I don't know if they have this on Android, but there's an app called Cam Scanner. So it's C-A-M and then Scanner. It's like green, it has like a green color. Um, this is not no promo or anything. This is just, I found this in the beginning stages of when I got my real estate license and realized like I had to scan a lot of documents whenever like for offers or whenever, just in case when I have documents and stuff. And this thing came in handy so much. I think it's like $60 a year, but the best thing, like I use this all the time. So I need them to sponsor me, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I just scanned these, so I got to email it over to um, our insurance agent in regards to that. But today is just going to consist of um, calls, follow-up calls, probates later on today, uh, emails. I do have to, Skylar was thinking of changing something within the probates, like having them say a different thing. So I'm going to look into like different wordings of what we can do to... Um, kind of switch up the lingo in regards to our probate letters um oh, what else do i have to do i gotta go check on our property just to see like what the update is with that because we gotta get a new draw but we gotta be done with this property it's been a little bit now and we need we need the money <laughs> get this thing rented as soon as possible so that's the game plan for today so yeah with that being said Gotta hop into my computer here and get to work. Yeah, down at the project, he's gonna kind of walk me through what they're doing and everything. He basically does all like the development side of things. Yeah, get this process started, but architects pretty much picked out. Oh, okay, and that's what, so the one architect was like, you may have to get a survey just to make sure exactly what, you know, what's theirs and what's ours. So when were you trying to see it today with Raphael or something? Um, yeah, possibly. Okay, well, I have this. I we, just have to make sure that my numbers are at. Yeah, we can run numbers real quick. I also have this flood zoning certificate we got to take care of. But I'm at the office and we got to print it out. So I was wondering if you can print it out at your office. Uh, yeah, I can. What's it for? It's, well, for us to be able to close on Sylvan. Yeah, we have to do a flood certificate too. It costs uh, residential $30. But just so dumb because it's not even in a flood zone. That is really dumb. That is really dumb. 30 bucks is the right No. Well, here's one that's active, but we can't really. I mean, it's not ARV. Can't really go based off this, but it just became active for 279 Let me see if I can find a close. How's the condition? Like, they have nice hardwood floors, but 
um, older rug. Oh, so it's like, it's, it's still the say, older I, vibe. I would just say those are the, the livable, the lot of Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, does his have a garage? I forgot. It has a carport, no garage. Well, here's a two one that closed. That's eleven hundred. That's just a thousand square feet for two seventy five. But this was back in November. The interest rates have dropped since then. Or what I think we said last time was like three oh five, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Well, I ran it at a ARV of two ninety, and then with a 60k rehab and a 30k profit and this one yeah i think arb like i think it's a still if we put it below 300 so um let's just say yeah let's just say 290 to be conservative times 0 0.07 that's 20k a little over 20 so 290 Minus 20 grand. A real turn and closing costs. We're at 270. Let's just say minus. Um, 60K rehab? Yeah, minus 60K rehab. Minus another 5K in holding and interest payments, let's say. Uh, yeah, 30K profit. And then closing costs on the front end. Probably looking at like seven grand. Wow, we may be more than seven. Like seventy five hundred. Seventy five hundred. No, not gonna be that much. No. No, All right. because the closing costs on the front end is typically one and a half percent, right? I'm just basing it off of what we previously done. So let's just. I put it at five. All right. So if I minus five. Minus, what did you offer him, 170? Yeah. One seventy. Is rehab really gonna be 60? I mean, with Fox Royale, it's probably gonna be cheaper, but it does need a, a good rehab done to it. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah. Huh? What, what'd your number come out to? Uh, all in was like 200, so it'd be, uh, it'd be 30k profit. But yeah, you wanna just let me know what Raphael says. Oh, my shoulder just cracked. Did you hear that? I did. I did. <laughs> my shoulders be cracking. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. I'll let you know what he says. Alright, I'll see ya. Bye. Bye. I could literally take a nap right now, so... It means it's time for some more coffee. Hey, you at the property? Nah, I'm, I'm, pull, I'm about to be pulling up there now. We, we, we been, uh, I'm gonna get some food. We be Home Depot. But when I come back, I'm putting that vanity in. The toilet's already in. That kitchen sink is in, so it's just it's pretty much going to be like touch ups everywhere. Cause um, we can do probably like we can do probably cause what it's a little over like three grand left. Yeah, it was like thirty eight. Let me see. That should be enough for the whole, the rest of the project. You think, right? And then once you're done, get the you get the rest. And I'll be able to have some finishing touches and stuff like that down on that first floor and then that second floor. It's just the flooring and the second floor for real. Okay. And then that, and then that. We're not about to go in the property right now, which is cool. I can send y'all, I'll add a video up here so y'all can see the update of what it looks like um, since he just sent me a video. So, you know, it's the cabinets right now. Right. It'll be ready in the You know, all the fixtures for the tub. I just got to put some mortar down to level that up. You know, I got to go clean this pipe out before I put the shark bites in. So I got to buy this little pipe cleaner real quick. 
And then that's where the sink is gonna go. That's gonna get cut off. And them ceilings is about to be nice too. And look how this ceiling got already. It's about to be nice once we put another coat of paint on. That is gonna be the end for today's video. I know it's a little bit shorter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. With that being said, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.